Hello everybody, I'm in Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, the Macedonian Empire Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we were getting geared up and prepared for war with Fox, when all of a sudden we noticed that Croatia, our ally, had declared war on the United Kingdom. So in order to avoid Croatia from basically fully annexing all of um, the UK's territory, we really quick threw an army into the UK, declared war on them, and uh, forced them to capitulate so that we actually got most of the UK territory. So yeah, we, down here we see all of the territory that used to be uh, British is now ours, and most of the um, Pacific holdings for Britain are now ours. So that works pretty well. Now, we then went ahead and we declared a war on Fox, and we begun our initial assaults into Fox, but we also noticed that apparently Choctaw here uh, joined the war against us, so that kind of caught us a little off guard there, because um, we hadn't put any forces on that border, because I wasn't expecting them to do anything. So. Um, I'm moving some forces and have some things in place to try to resolve this problem. It shouldn't it shouldn't run into a, too much of an issue. Now, um, I am going to need to apologize for the quality of my voice um, and probably for the fact that this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode um, because I am feeling rather s ill right now. Um, so I'm going to try and tough through what I can here and... Uh, and just at least get something done. Now, the one thing that I did do before starting out the recording, and it took me quite a bit of time, is I went ahead and I took care of the distrib distribution of the conquered European territory. So, come over here. Notice now that Europe looks a little bit different. I went ahead and I basically gave the Norse Empire... Um, roughly the territory that brought them back to their 1830s borders. So, they're kind of back in, you know, some decent strength there. I also transferred the Croatian territory here to Poland so that Poland got a nice contiguous land. And in exchange, I gave uh, Croatia this corridor here. They got them, they get some of these ports over here so they actually have some naval bases. Um, I kept Denmark. Also, um, I'm allowing Croatia to continue to manage Ireland. And I took back all the territory up here in Scandinavia that Croatia had taken. So, there. That should be good. And then what I did was I created a puppet state here for the rest of the territory. Um, that is uh, Austrasia now. Austrasia. So, Austrasia is back on the map. Um but as our puppet state. All right, so that should be good. So what we're doing is we are bringing these marine divisions up here. We're gonna load them in here and uh, hopefully counterattack these guys. And then I'm gonna bring these divisions over here, uh, down here into South America or Central America and uh, bring them up to try to counterattack the Choctaw here. All right, so let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's get these moving. Bhutan is apparently mobilizing. Oh yeah, we got those uh, underground resistance and naval bases. I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with those naval bases, but uh, we'll figure it out. Won the Battle of Denver, we lost a province, we wiped that out, Battle of Fort Kent. Province lost, yeah, we're not going to worry about those. Yep, they're they're going to be taking a bunch of territory over here, so that's not a problem. So these guys are going to move in, and we're going to push them to this victory point here. Ashanti is mobilizing. Interesting. Are we at war with more people than I realize? 
Uh, where's the diplomatic map mode? No, we're not at war with any of these guys. Oh, I forgot about this. There we go. All right, we are winning our battles here. All right, so we won that battle. They are attacking us here. They're not going to go anywhere. Lend lease request from Croatia. I just gave you an, an, a rather sizable amount of territory there, Croatia, so you don't need the lend lease. Battle of Rome? I wonder if I should bring these Marines over. No, we should be all right. All right, you guys, load them up. Let's bring them in. Oh. Are the... The Inca bringing, uh, bringing some troops? That'd be nice. One thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring these guys in here and then transport them overland. Alright, I got my guys here. Let's see, what are we going to be doing? Uh, VP mode. Hmm. It's risky. If I start to push in here, they might cut me off. I won that battle. Yeah, I don't know if these guys are going to be able to stop them, but I can try to put these guys in the way. I won that battle. These guys are getting overrun. You guys start to move this way. Okay, yep, that's all been occupied. You change direction. Those appear to be transports, but it doesn't appear that they brought any units with them. Oh, that's Rome. Uh, Atlanta. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's have those guys push in. Bunch of new ministers just got appointed. Okay. 
I thought we launched a battle here. Did we not? Actually, let's just support attack there. So those guys got destroyed. You guys move in. Those guys are going in there. Right, and then these guys, let's mass our forces here. Ah, rebels. Let's see, do I actually have a transport? Oh, my marines have arrived. Perfect. Now let's bring these transports back here. Oh, hold on. I have transports there. Ah, perfect. Bring them down here. Rebase. Alright, won this battle. Actually, I'm going to redirect these guys into Kree because I believe I was looking at this. Yeah, because Kree is at war with us as well. But they only have a single victory point, so if we can just take that. We'll get a piece of cake. Our detection equipment. Now, we appear to be getting hit by planes. Those are attack bombers. Got any interceptors? Strategic bombers. Yeah, we got some interceptors. Let's bring them up here. So we won that battle. We're probably going to take these marines and make a push to their capital. Alright, won that battle. Good. Now let's take you guys and launch the attack that you were supposed to do. Forces are under attack where? Oh, we wiped those guys out. Good. Oh, we are losing organization here. Uh, you guys support attack. Change of plans. Support attack there. As soon as you're ready, it's going to be 46 hours. Okay. Man, we are just having a lot of trouble there. Make a push here. We should be all right. I 
they're hitting me real good here. Oh, they're gonna have to retreat. Cavalry down here, deal with these rebels. Alright, so we've occupied this. Alright, we're all the way through here. Support attack. I might need some reinforcements up here. Might need some reinforcements up here. No one is expecting as strong a resistance up here as I, as I have. So let's see if we can pick up some more guys. Where will we have some more troops that are ready to go? Ah, here. Got some armor. Let's go pick them up. Offer military access, lend lease, lend lease request. I, mean, I could give them lend lease. Uh, have my forces arrived? Yes, we have two cores of armor. Let's get them deployed up here. Attack me across that river, not gonna happen. No need to stop here. Looking at here, uh, we're gonna take some guys there, launch an attack. Now, can I launch an attack here into a support? Let's see what that looks like. Attack their militia. Oh, they managed to drive me out of there? Let's do this. Two divisions of armor head this way. Alright, you guys. You march there, you march here, you march here, you march here. We'll make ourselves a little corridor straight to Ch Choctaw's capital. 
here comes my armor. Could I try and counterattack? Oh, I really can't yet until Choctaw's down. Robin's lost. Redeploy them there. Gotta deal with this as well. to two-year draft and long did basic training. Right, let's grab these guys. And let's bring them up here. We might need to go get some more reinforcements from here as well. Fox is proving more resistant than I had expected. Where... We grab some troops. We got some guys up here. So let's do this. Let's bring them back here. We'll go ahead and grab this army. See, that's a whole army group. We'll bring them down here. All right, well, we're making some progress here. You guys move there. You guys swing into Jacksonville. Any victory points over here? Not really. This victory point. Launch an attack. Take Sharif Port. Spread this armor out. I think we just need to hold here for now. Uh, these guys are all moving, but they're moving pretty slow. Wait a minute, Blackfoot? Apparently Blackfoot is at war. Do we have transit rights? Impossible. So our guys can't get there. Hmm. But that's actually going to help us a little bit. If Fox is distracted by Blackfoot or Blackfoot is able to make some headway in the Fox, that's only going to help. Because then we're going to deal with Blackfoot. Small arms. Province lost. Uprising. Really? Over here? Alright. Well. It took care of that. There's no port down here. Well, you should mention that. Now we have a port. Rebase them up here. We have a whole bunch of destroyers. Actually, we're probably at a point in here where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Again, a little bit short, but, you know, I'm not feeling great. I'm going to put them in the first BB here. Lots of destroyers. Some 
heavy cruisers. And some light cruisers. All right, there we go. Okay, so we are moving into Sharif Port here. We are making a push to Jackson. So let me just unpause it here for a second. You guys take care of that. And actually, let's do this. Oh, we have a diplomat en route. We're going to offer, lend, lease. We're going to go ahead, we're going to offer, lend, lease. Accept that. And let's give them a giant pile of lend lease. There we go. So they should be able to build some stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.